Yo, what's up guys? Boss here and I'm back from a YouTube video and this time we're going to be playing some ladder using this 2.9 balloon cycle deck. So you guys might have seen a deck very similar to this from a few months ago. It had fishermen in it and I think it had skeletons. So instead of the fishermen and the skeletons, you have ice golem and the bats. The reason why I made these changes is obviously because fishermen ended up getting a small nerf. It's still a very good card and that's not the only reason just because of the nerf. I just think ice golem is very good in this meta because there's a lot of bats and ice golem is kind of like a direct counter to the bats you also have bats yourself in this deck which are very strong as you guys know after the first attack speed buff you have hunter which is so good against you know like golem lava hound really any kind of win condition the dps it does is absolutely insane the delivery is really good versus sparky or if you play against like a lava hound the lava pups or the golem you know the night witch lots of good uses for the delivery you have tons of spells to pair with your balloon obviously snowball pairs so well with the balloon you know pushing you know air units away from it or just instantly killing bats which are so good right now log helps for pushback on defense and it's really good versus log bait and the minor pairs really well with the balloon because it helps like snipe air counters or you can just play it directly on the tower so before we get in the first game if you guys want to support me you can use my critical boss you can use it in any supercell game helps support me helps support the channel and i really appreciate all you guys who use my code it means a lot so i'm at uh 64 25 right now a little bit lower on ladder to be honest though i haven't really the last couple of days been playing too much ladder i've been um you know as you guys know um well, I celebrate Christmas, um, me and my family, so I've been spending a lot of time with my family, haven't been playing as much ladder as I normally do. Also, this is a, um, a the first of two pre-recorded videos I'm going to make. Um, the second one, as you guys are watching this, will probably be out like two days from now. I'm pre-recording a couple videos today before I leave uh, to visit my grandma, and I'll be gone about six days. Um, but anyway... Uh, so this guy's got the mother witch i'm actually gonna balloon because he was kind of leaking elixir for a while and i kind of already had a hunter down so i kind of just wanted to play something to pressure him it's a little aggressive but i mean he had his mother witch, mother witch out of cycle it forces so much elixir out of him and it wasn't really that risky because i had a hunter down so yeah i'm curious what this guy's using because mother witch is kind of bad in my opinion i mean I'm not saying it's completely, you know, useless or not viable at all, but I kind of never see it. It's just one of those cards that feels a little weak right now, and I'd like to see a little bit of a buff to it. I'm going to go Balloon in the opposite lane because he just committed 6 Elixir. He has a lot of his air counters out of rotation, so it's a pretty good time to go in for a Balloon. We're going to go ahead and log. Um, Giant Skeleton, I don't think, made it to the... Uh, made it to the tower. Yeah, it was really close, but luckily that log ended up saving us. So really nice and easy defense there. Mother Witch kind of just getting no value for him. It was pretty useless in that situation. And I don't know why I keep saying kind of. That's I usually don't say that a lot, but I noticed I've, I've said that a few times already. No clue why. Anyway, we're going to go for a Hunter here. We're going to go Ice Golem. And then I'm going to go for a log to clean up these Barbarians. Really solid defense. So yeah, strange deck on his end. We should just be able to ideally play defense, or if he takes our tower, hopefully we can get a good chunk of damage on his right tower right here, so we can end up just, you know, if we get in a two tower situation, we would end up having the advantage. But I think I'm pretty confident we could defend if I play well, although he only needs a couple more hits with the RG, so we gotta be really careful. Let's go for a log here on this Royal Giant. We can just go for a minor on this Mother Witch and i'll go for a balloon we might as well just pressure him to make it difficult for him to take our tower that ice i mean look at that ice golem pulling back the giant skeleton oh my gosh that giant skeleton went on such a long journey i'm not gonna lie log here uh the balloon is going to put his tower into i believe log and snowball range yeah all we need is a snowball and we already played our log uh okay we can just let's just relax no need to freak out i know we have Wow, there's actually a bunch of Royal Hogs, but it's not even going to matter. Our left tower has so much HP, so that's going to be GG. Really nice and easy first win there. You know, as I said, Mother Witch, I don't even think is that good. You guys saw it, you know, here first. And some people say it's, like, good against the bats. Well, we had bats. It still didn't seem to do very much for them. I'd like to see the Mother Witch get a damage buff. I think it could use a very small one, in my opinion. So that's going to put us 1,086. Let's work our way up, and yeah, we're, we're going to find our next game really quick. So we'll give this guy the good luck. 
and we'll see what he wants to do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and split bats. It's a really good uh, starting play with this. I'm going to go for a minor on his uh, left tower and see what he wants to do. I'm going to get ready to snowball if I need to. Ooh, this guy's going to have a giant skeleton. So another person using giant skeleton. Very interesting. I'm going to hunter. And then I kind of want to kite this giant skelly into the opposite lane to save our hunter. He's going to earthquake. So I'm going to go ahead and balloon because giant skeleton earthquake you know nine elixir oh he's got zappies that's not a great sign because i feel like zappies are a good answer to the balloon but luckily we do have log which is a direct answer to his goblin barrel so it's looking like some weird mortar bait deck i'm just gonna go for minor bats Honestly, this might be kind of good. Maybe you guys enjoy this video where I'm a little bit lower on ladder because you guys are getting kind of, you know, some... And again, why do I keep saying kind of? I don't know. Uh, I just got in the habit of saying it this video for some reason. You you guys get to see some off-meta decks. So maybe some of you guys enjoy this, uh, you know, this video. So... He's going to try to go for the tower trade. He's going to get it, I think. The question is, though, is that was that worth it for him? I mean, he's going to take, I think, two balloon hits on his king tower. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The zappy prevented it from getting a second drop. That's kind of unfortunate, but very good situation for us. Tower trading with balloon is okay. Unless it's like golem or something. If you're against golem, ideally, you want to keep it a one tower game. Because if you get in a two tower situation and the match is prolonged, it's going to be hard for you. But otherwise, I don't think it matters too much. We're just going to eat the damage of the Goblin Barrel. I'm going to go for a Snowball here. He's just going to Mortar most likely. Yeah, there's the Mortar. I called it. It was obvious he was going to do that. What's really good is his Earthquake is going to get absolutely no value for him this match. He's continuing to cycle it though. Probably because, I don't know, his cycle gets, you know, weird and it just allows him to get some chip on our tower, but... We don't have a building, so it's not going to get insane value. I'm going to go for a log on his uh, Goblin Barrel. Get a nice delivery off here. Ooh, he actually went for Goblin Gang. I think the delivery hit some of that as well. Nah, not really. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure here. He's just going to Hunter the Balloon most likely. There's the Hunter. I'm not going to Snowball because I don't even think the Balloon would have gotten hit had I done that. It would have been a little risky. And we get Death Damage anyway. Death Damage of the Balloon is honestly quite a lot. I mean, I think it does almost 400. It really adds up if your opponent continues to let it, you know, get on top of their tower. Uh, Okay, that Mortar is going to get one hit on our tower, but... Oh, never mind. It's not in range. What am I talking about? I, I thought it was, but then I realized it wasn't. We can just balloon. I'm going to go for a minor on top of the zappies. Snowball to ideally end up... Ooh. I don't know about that goblin gang. He just played it right into our snowball. That's going to be GG, but we outcycled him. That's the reason why this deck is so, you know, good. Especially at outcycling because 2.9 average elixir cost his deck was obviously way more expensive. So that kind of allowed us to You know break through eventually sometimes you have to be patient even though you have a fast cycle You're not always gonna be able to do it right away. You have to you know be patient fix your rotation and Make sure that You're gonna be able to do it eventually. Okay, so top 1000. Let's keep going. We're still fairly low at least for my standards I mean you guys might not really consider this low, but for me, this is pretty low. Again, just, we'll just, I'm not going to worry too much. I just, I was taking a break, you know, around the holidays. Completely fine to not play Clash Royale as much as I normally do around Christmas. It's good to get a break from this game, if I'm being honest, for a bit. Anyway, let's just go ahead and split bats in the back. And we'll go for a miner on his tower, see what he wants to do. Oh my gosh, she has a mother, which... Wow, so I guess the lower you are in trophies, the more likely you are to play against Mother Witch, apparently. 
So this is interesting. Another Mother Witch deck. He's gonna have a bowler. Hmm, this is really risky, but I'm gonna go Ice Golem and Balloon in the opposite lane, knowing that he just played a pretty expensive card. Ah, Zappies. Zappies are like a direct answer to the balloon, so we can't expect to get a hit. Um However, if I snowballed, we probably would have gotten one, but I thought that might have been a little bit too aggressive. I'm going to wait to delivery because I want to make sure that we hit this flying machine. I'm going to snowball it. Mm, yeah, it took a little bit more damage there than I would have liked for sure. I think he's up one elixir, I want to say. Maybe even two, so we got to be careful. Very interesting deck. I've never seen anything like this before. He's going to go ahead and play Royal Hog, so we're just going to Hunter those. Hunter is going to be a pretty solid answer. I mean, he's going to get a few hundred damage, but we're going to have counter push at this point. And I honestly am going to go ahead and balloon here. Oh, wow. He just wasted five elixir. So I'm just going to minor. He's going to fireball. So he just used nine elixir. I don't think he can stop this balloon. This balloon, I think just is going to, it might even take the tower if it gets a second hit. It might get one hit. I don't know how many it's going to get. Is it going to get the second? Oh, zappies are... You know, I, I, Zappies are one of the very best answers to the balloon. They uh, they just do a really good job of stunning it. Knowing, though, that he doesn't have... Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. Tower goes down, unfortunately. I'm just going to delivery this. What's that? A hmm. So pretty bad bowler on his part. He's just going to... Ah, yeah. I think that might be a good game. Unless our balloon gets a hit. Oh, it was so close again. That's the second time where we were so close to getting a balloon hit, but we didn't get it. Man, that's unfortunate. Because I think we really needed that hit if we wanted to win. Now this is going to be hard at this point. Oh, the balloon pushed the flying machine out of range. Okay, that's unlucky. Um, yeah, GG. Um, we, yeah, GG. We, we tried our best. Honestly, I didn't play that, like, perfectly, but that was definitely, like, a really bad matchup because just... Not because of the Mother Witch, but just Zappies kind of... I don't know. That Zappies are honestly very, very good against the Balloon. But they're not extremely popular in the meta or anything like that. And minus 36 too. Jeez, for that bad of a matchup. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's like... It's not impossible, like that matchup. Definitely not. And I didn't play it perfectly. I made some mistakes. I'm not going to deny that. But that's for sure a very, very, very bad matchup. Because he has Flying Machine, Zappies and fireball so really solid answers to the balloon and just overall like the mother witch isn't a good card i still don't think it's a good card but because i have the bats it kind of gave him something that the mother witch was able to get a solid amount of value against but you know regardless you know gg um he played it pretty well i, I played it pretty well too but a couple things i could have done differently all right on to the next game reverse hacker We'll just go ahead and cycle bats, see what this guy wants to do. He's going to go for a bar barrel. That doesn't tell me much. We'll just go ahead and snowball. Spear goblins. Hmm, could be minor wall breakers. Could be graveyard, like graveyard mortar. Yep. So we're going to go for a hunter on top of this mortar, see what he wants to do from there. He might go for, yep, cannon cart. I'll just delivery this cannon cart. We might as well. <clears throat> so yeah, he's got a hunter, I think. Hunter and spear goblins are going to be his air counters. 
I'm going to go ahead and do this and have Snowball ready if he goes for Spear Goblins. Ooh, he's going to Fireball that? Wow. So he's got the Fireball variant. That's a little unfortunate because Fireball is really good against the Balloon, as you guys know, but it, it's still fine. I mean, we can definitely win it, especially because Bats are so good against the uh the graveyard i'm very shocked that he went that aggressive i don't know why he did that to me that felt like a very bad graveyard i don't know what he was doing there like that just felt way too aggressive so i'm gonna minor and go for a balloon because his fireball right now is at a cycle um but he played the cannon cart and cycled back to it we can go for a log go for an ice golem so yeah, honestly, I might have been a little bit too aggressive there myself. I was just talking about he was aggressive, but I kind of was aggressive there too, and it didn't work out too well. But we got the lead right now in damage, so I'm not too worried. He's probably going to go for, I was going to say a mortar at the bridge, but he didn't. So I guess we can just cycle bats. He's going to go for a mortar now. I guess we can just go ahead and balloon. We might as well. Uh, I played it you know kind of like in the middle because i knew that his tower wouldn't have been able to target it which was pretty good for us we can go for delivery on top of that and he's getting really aggressive so we gotta get bats down they're gonna counter his graveyard though pretty much perfectly and he gets so aggressive with a fireball on top of it so it kind of makes me think that we can now go for a balloon we can go for bats because he's probably yep, gonna go for a mortar i'm gonna go for a miner unfortunately though the mortar's still alive it has so many hit points so we couldn't get the balloon to the tower okay he's gonna fireball very aggressive fireball And aggressive graveyard as well. Graveyard's going to get some chip, but it shouldn't be too bad. We got to get rid of this hunter. Hopefully the bats can get on top of the tower. Nah, oh my gosh, this game has been very, very... I don't know if annoying is the right word, but it's been... I feel like just back and forth, back and forth. Like, he's just been sending in graveyards. I've just been going in for balloons and... None of us are really getting anything to happen here. Like, it's just been a very, I guess, defensive game, you could say, almost. Oh, the balloon got pushed. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit of like, I guess you could say like a pro tip for you guys. You can actually... Shove the balloon with bats. Um, if you guys... I saw actually Vulcan's video where he pushed to number one in the world with loon cycle and that's one of the things he did when he was against buildings you can like use the bats to shove the balloon and that's what i finally did at the end which kind of allowed us to win that game man that game was just so kind of intense and also just very defensive i mean it just he didn't really even get a mortar to connect i think maybe he got like one or two mortar shots but mo majority of his damage was just from graveyards and fireballs and then majority of my damage was he didn't i don't even think i got a balloon connection I just got minor chip and death damage, I think. But that's the thing with Balloon and why Balloon is pretty OP sometimes, in my opinion. You can win games just off of death damage. You don't even really need a connection in lots of situations and matchups. You can just win off of death damage because death damage does almost 400. So let's say you get death damage during a match like six times. That's, yeah, that's almost 2400 damage. 
I guess it would be like 2,300 something because it does 395, but yeah, you get my point. So yeah, this will be our last game here. We're versus Sia. Actually, is this the real Sia? I mean, the I think the only female CRL player. If you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if it is. Pro maybe. I, I don't know. Um, anyway. Looks like... Sia's got, oof, this is going to be a little difficult, and when I say a little difficult, it's going to be pretty dang difficult, because, uh, yeah, it's Splasher, hmm, not what we really want to see when we're using Loon Cycle, I'm going to go for a Balloon. Trying to take advantage the best I can of a single elixir to get a balloon to connect if I possibly can. Yeah, we do. But uh, I'm down five elixir, I think. Yeah, I, I, we lost, I think. Unless Sia messes up really badly and goes in for, like, a baby dragon and it's an obvious play that... I, that or like at the bridge and I would have like predicted it knowing that let me see maybe I overreacted hmm I'm surprised that I would have thought I, I would have thought that a graveyard was going to come in aggressively is a tornado going to come in here or is the death damage going to Yeah, we do get death damage. Okay, so poison comes in. It actually... Ah, shoot. Man, that graveyard got way more damage than I would have liked. Graveyard's OP. Even after the nerf it got, it's still really strong. Hmm. I think I'm gonna minor. No. Ah, oh, GG, guys. All right, I try my best. I'm gonna end the video off of the, at, uh, at this game just because you know. I, uh, I have to record two videos today because, as I said, this is the first pre-recorded video and the second one's coming out. Um, it'll be out in a couple days. So, yeah, uh, sorry, guys, that I'm, like, you know, kind of, like, low on ladder than I, than, you know, than I normally am. But it's, you know, the holidays. So I just, I, I like holiday season, you know, like Christmas and then New Year's coming up. So I'm just, just not playing as much as I normally do. But when I get back after visiting my grandma, I'll for sure the last couple of days of the season – do my best to get a really good finish like still if i can you know get a top three finish um or number one you know whatever i'll just do i'll do my best um and if I, and if i can't get it like i won't stress about it too much but i'll for sure try my hardest last couple days but yeah i mean we still got some good games in we uh won uh three games lost two that's all right um so make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you're not subscribed already and my next pre-recorded video you guys will see in a couple days. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.